So I'm having a chat with Palace. How are you guys? Very well, yeah, we're good. We're, we're in our studio just rehearsing for our tour. We're going, heading to Glasgow tonight to play tomorrow, mm. so we're very excited. Yeah, well, what's the feeling about being back out on a tour again? Hey, man, it's Matt here. Yeah, we're super excited. It's been a long time. 2019 was the last time, so mm. cannot wait to get back out there. It's quite surreal, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a nice long tour as well because it, it's split up. You've got UK for the next week and a bit, really, and then you are heading out to the USA and Canada in April and May too. I bet you can't wait to be out over there as well. Yeah, we're so that's it's a dream to get to sort of play over there. We went there for one month um, just before the sort of pandemic started, so it's sort of slowly building and growing over there. And we just it's just so fun to to get out there and get in the bus and cruise across America and Canada is the best. Yeah, most definitely. And the reason you are heading out on tour is because you have a new record out. It's called Shoals. What can people hear if they haven't checked it out yet, but they go and take a listen? What can they expect? I think they can expect some sort of very like heartfelt, honest sort of atmospheric music and, and uh, something that I think hopefully people can relate to and connect to in some way. Um, and I think we put everything into this record and, and try to sort of create something uh, that feels sort of new, a new version of Palace and feels sort of like an updated version. So I think it's sort of second generation Palace in a way. Um, but yeah, we, we're, we're getting an amazing response from it so far. People seem to really be loving it and sort of um, and just really connecting with it. Good. And three records in and now, how does this record sound compared to your previous two and the EPs from before that? It's funny. I think with the old stuff, we, listening back to them, we we feel like it was another sort of, it was another part of ourselves in this strange way. And we feel like we're a sort of matured band in a sort of cheesy mm-hmm. sense. And listening back to those old records, I think we, you know, we love them and we, we're so proud of them, but we feel like we sort of... Um, we've gone to the next level in terms of what sort of palace is and um so they'll always have a sort of a, a place in our hearts for sure but um it's it's cool to look back and see the growth and see to sort of where we are now and see the sounds where we're creating and it feels like we can just keep going and keep pushing it and keep sort of trying new crazy things mm. yeah absolutely and you would have started i'm sure writing and and recording this in lockdown because we've had a pandemic over the last couple of years what's it been like doing a record under such different circumstances from when you've done it prior yeah it was it was a definitely a different one it was a um we started the writing process in voice note form in the beginning of but just before the when the first lockdown hit in that summer um so yeah, it was a kind of really different way of, of getting it kicked off. So sending each other voice notes and, and sort of working on stuff remotely. And then when we were able to get back together, we, we got together in our uh, studio space and, um, and, and just kind of powered through and it all sort of started taking shape in a really nice way, in a different way. It's, it's hard to explain, but I think it's just because there was so much space and uh, time, you know, in, in, in the world, the rest of the world, everything had kind of stood still uh, in the outside world. And we sort of felt that in the studio as well. We felt like we had time to really sort of focus on, on different sonics and, and production techniques and, and stuff like that. We, we had a lot more time than we've had before, basically, which, which uh, hopefully, you know, you can hear on the record. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we've been playing a couple of your tracks in the build-up to this, but the one we've been playing recently is Friends Forever. What what can you tell us about that track specifically? Friends Forever is, yeah, that's just, we love that one. It feels like a sort of, uh, it has a sort of anthemic feel to it. And it was one of the last songs we wrote for the album. And it just came out of these sort of simple chords. And we wanted to write a song that felt sort of simple and had a sort of... Um, anthemic sort of feel and it's just about sort of deep companionships basically it's a sort of simple message but it feels like a sort of heartfelt um heartfelt song and um we were channeling a bit of i most seem to remember we channeled a bit of big big thief into that song that was a mm. bit of a reference point who we love um but yeah people seem to be really loving it and we're hoping live it goes down well and people are going to be 
chanting back at us. <laughs> I'm sure than, they will be. Rather than hectic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well we've touched on the touring that you've got coming up but obviously we'll be heading into festival season two um, what have you got planned for, for festivals this year festivals I think we're doing truck we're doing truck festival yeah we're doing truck um, we not we've got another couple but we're not sure if we're la- allowed to say yet um, <laughs> but uh, yeah we've definitely got a few on the horizon uh, it should be fun. Can't well, wait to get. Can't wait to get back out in the festival circuit. Yeah, and it will all will be revealed soon. Yeah, there, I think there's a few more that we'll we'll, we'll put out soon. Good, excellent. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure having a catch up with you. Thanks so much for having us, Jim. Cheers, man. <laughs>